This is a brand new, really cool, innovative little microphone from Comica. They call it a super cardinoid, transformable, all-in-one shotgun mic named TrackShot. It can be used as an on-camera microphone like you see here, but you can also use it on your cell phone, tablets, etc. The biggest feature of this unique microphone is the design. So you can use it in multiple configurations. This is Alan Halfield for a personal view, and we're going to take a look at this new innovative microphone from Comica. What's in the box? This little box, it's a very nice little box, and you just zip it open, and the microphone is inside. And here is the Comica microphone. Underneath it, you'll find two fuzzy windscreens. Also, there is cable for your cell phone as well as for your camera. These are 3.5 millimeter cables and then a USB charging cable and of course the manual. I believe that this is Comica's first on-camera shotgun microphone. The mic is very light at 144 grams and is very small at 120 millimeters long 60 millimeters width and 60 millimeters tall as well. The mic has a standard cold shoe, but an innovative mounting system. It's called an air float shock absorber. And that's what these little orange guys are. And there's air actually inside each one of those shock absorbers. Also, it's very, very small, the mount. On the left side of the track shot is the out 3.5 millimeter jack that you plug your cable into to plug into your camera. There's also the USB charging jack there as well. It can also be used for firmware update. On the other side is a headphone out jack and that is very handy if you want to monitor the audio, especially if your camera doesn't have a headphone jack. Now I'm going to mount my track shot on my G9, and you just slide it into the cold shoe and hot shoe of the camera, and tighten it up, and then plug the cable, of course, into the mic jack of the camera, like so. And now we're ready to show you the features of this microphone. If the mics are like this, it's just a standard shotgun microphone and it's in mono mode. Now that I've got the camera mounted, we're going to turn on the microphone. And the way you do that is to push this right button on the back of the microphone. And the IPS display comes on and you can see that it's showing the directions of the microphone. It's showing that it's in mono mode, it's showing the battery level, and it is showing the low cut, which is off right now. Left hand side is the mode button. You'll see here I have widened the microphones to 30%. And the reason you do that is so you can get stereo, because it says S1 for stereo. Now if I hit it again, I can go to 90%, and I can move the, make it a stereo 90%. Now when we go back to here, I can hit it once more. And this is the innovative mode that I think is quite interesting in that you put one microphone forward and one microphone backwards. And now I can talk to my microphone behind the camera while someone is talking in front of the camera. This is really cool because you can do an on-the-run interview very quickly and not have to mic the person that you're interviewing because you have two microphones on this shotgun. The big orange wheel is for adjusting the volume of the microphone. Right now I have it set at zero and you can go all the way up to 10 and that's the output of the microphone going to your device. I don't know how long the actual built-in lithium battery will last because they don't give me the rating of the battery, 
but it has never pooped out on me during any of my shoots. And I just find if I charge it at night, it's ready for the next day. Now we're going to see what the Comica sounds like. The volume's up too high, so I'm going to go to here and turn the wheel and turn the volume down. And you'll see the volume go down as we are going. And yes, there it is. It's down to 0 dB on my camera as well. Now that's minus 3. I can go also down to minus 12. And now I can go back and raise the volume back up. But it's pretty impressive that I can set my levels on both the camera as well as the microphone. And if you notice, if I go back up on the camera, back up to zero, it's going to be fairly bright. And But I can again turn it back down on the microphone. And this is pretty amazing on a Panasonic camera that I can be at zero dB and have a decent sounding level for my audio because of the volume control on the microphone. I did a quick interview indoors with this setup and I would like to show you that interview right now. I did not have the low cut filter on. I'm with Heidi Hansen and she's with Olympic Peninsula Authors. Tell me about it. Well, it is a loosely structured association of over 30 local writers and together we help them promote their books. And to do that, what have you done for them? Well, we have um, set up a booth at the Squim Open Air Market, giving them an opportunity to sell their books or we sell their books for them at that event. But we also host an open mic reading night. I've also heard that you've published a few books as well. We did start up a new arm last year for those people who have, have a product ready to publish, but I have not been picked up by a local publisher, so we have become a somewhat publisher called Olipen Books, and we've published five books. Comica supplies these dead cat wind muffs, and we're going to put them on this microphone. And the way you do that is you slide them over the capsule itself like so, and then pull the end of it over the end of the microphone. It's not the easiest, but it's not too bad. Uh, I'm almost got it. And yep, it's on there. And then we'll grab the other one. Here's the other one. And we'll put that one on the other microphone. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to do an interview outdoors with this microphone on location as if I was doing a run and gun interview. So let's take a look at that interview right now taken with this in the interview mode which is front and back. As you can see here I have the mics forwards and backwards and I just did an interview earlier. I'm interviewing Heidi Hansen about their, she's a local author and they have a local author's booth here at the market. Tell me about it. Well, the truth of the matter is when we're here at the market, we're the only bookstore in Squim, which is quite sad, but at the same time, it's good for us. And this was the first weekend of the uh, farmer's market, correct? It was. And I had an opportunity to run across the street, talk to some of the vendors over there. And uh, Mountain Baking, which makes these wonderful hand pies, had a great day today because they brought over 300 hand pies and sold out by noon. I can see just by looking at it, it's been quite windy. How, has that been a problem? Well. Yes, because everything had to be weighted down, but we had some fun with the wind. I said, look, the wind is picking that book for you to look at. And then they would walk over and pick up the book. Sometimes they bought it. This should sound pretty horrible. I don't even know if you can hear me through this because right now we are getting uh, a fair amount of wind from a fan that I have in this studio. And according to this, it's about uh, let's see what it says here. It says about five kilometers per hour wind coming onto this microphone with no windscreens or with low cut filter. 
now with no windscreens I am talking into this microphone but I have the low cut filter on so hopefully that's helping a little bit we will see but who knows the next test I'll do is with the windscreen and with the five kilometer wind okay now I have the dead cats on the microphones I turned off the low cut filter so this is flat and I am talking into this microphone with about five kilometer per hour wind going into these microphones and you can see what that sounds like now I have the low cut filter turned on and we still have the wind going to the microphones at five kilometers per hour the next test I would like to do is a directional test and I will continue talking as I turn this microphone away from me I'm in mono mode right now and in shotgun mode and I'm turning it all the way around as you can see to see what it sounds like and I will turn it all the way to the other side as well to see what it sounds like and I'm doing that right now as you can see I'm turning it back towards me and we will see what that sounds like now I'm at 30 degrees stereo and we're going to rotate the microphone as well and see what that sounds like in 30 degree stereo mode I'm using the 30 degree stereo mode as I am turning this microphone around and as you can see it is turning and it'll be interesting to see what this sounds like. Now I'm in 90 degree stereo mode and we will rotate the microphone around away from me and we will see what that sounds like. And now we'll go back the other way and rotate it around and see what that sounds like. And it'll be interesting to see what this microphone sounds like as I rotate it around in stereo mode. I also did some tests in my office and this is a selfie mode test using the microphone as a shotgun microphone. This is Alan doing a selfie in my office with this new Comica microphone, the Track Shot. And I have the both microphones, there's two of them, pointed at me right now so I can talk to the camera as if I was doing a vlog and I'm using a G9 to do that. Now I have the low cut on but both microphones pointed forward so I'm in mono mode which is basically like any other shotgun microphone. This is what it sounds like if both microphones are pointed forward and I'm in mono mode so I will switch it to the dual mode in just a moment. This is Alan talking into this microphone. The microphone is in dual mode. One microphone is pointed forwards and one microphone is pointed backwards. And the forward microphone is the one I'm using to talk with. Now I am using the rear microphone to test it as well. And I'm in dual mode with this little microphone. This is a test of the Comica track shot with the low cut turned on and in dual mic mode, one pointing forwards, one pointing backwards. This is also a test with the low cut on with the track shot in dual mode with the microphone pointing forwards and I'm talking to the one pointing backwards. I also did an interview with my iPhone and having it mounted like this where I had it on the iPhone and I use the Filmic app double take to record both cameras at the same time when I was doing the interview so take a look at that. Heidi tell me about uh, how you got started writing. Well first there was paper and then there was pen. Uh, and how long have you been writing? Uh, let's see for uh, hmm, I probably started when I was five or six I've been seriously working at the art of writing since 2012. Hopefully these tests give you an idea of how this microphone sounds in different situations.
The Comica TrackShot transformable all-in-one shotgun microphone is a unique microphone that does many things well. Being an all-in-one does compromise the sound quality a little bit. It is a very versatile microphone that won't break the bank. This is Alan Hatfield for Personal View. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will see you later.